I wonder if I can shoot these both at once. Oh, I'm thinking I can. This is the Daisy Powerline 880. I've never owned one of these guns. I've never shot one of these guns. This is a $35 gun, $35 from Walmart. Other places, you could be looking at paying double that. And you can pretty much find this anywhere. Let's open it up and see what we get. One tab there, one tab there, one tab there. There we go. Maybe you open it like this. Uh, you open it like this, or maybe not. Anyways, it's open now. Okay, yeah, gun here. Before I get into this, this gun claims to get 800 feet per second with BBs, and it doesn't make a claim for pellets. A little protective piece for the bolt once again. Let's just slide that out. Instructions. I'd help if I had a sharp knife. Probably really would help if I had a sharp knife. There we go. And everything just falls out. There we go. We have a 4 to 16 power scope with the rings already mounted on it. What do we got here? A little scope manual. Ah, comes with a little scope manual. Don't even take time to read it. You don't need to read that. Manual for the gun. Let's just see how many times you can really pump this up. Ah, oh, there's too many words in here. Wow, this thing is like a little book. Okay, 10 pumps. You can pump it a maximum of 10 pumps. Here they have a little chart. And it says, we recommend the following number of pumps for different shooting conditions. For indoor shooting, two pumps. Now I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use a little more than two pumps for my indoor shooting. For 10 meter shooting, six to four pumps, or actually it would be four to six pumps. For long distances, seven to 10. And then it says don't pump it up more than 10 times. At 10 pumps, pallets will be getting 715 feet per second, which I'm gonna adjust that mentally right here to right around maybe 630, 640, probably no more than 645. This gun is, is awesome. I've never actually had one of these guns. I've never shot one of these guns. It pumps from the bottom like that. That's cool. It's got a little like a uh, detent down there. This gun is very angular, very, like, like the bolt isn't really, doesn't really feel good. There's no like smooth pulling it back, it's like, poof, like watch. See what I mean? It's just open. And I read somewhere that you have to have the bolt cocked before you begin to pump it, otherwise you're not really doing anything. On this one, you only have a white dot on your front blade, no fiber optic sights, and you load your BBs right there and on the side in the little loading door when you're done. Somehow, if you have fingernails, you can pop it back up. This is cool. I'm excited to shoot this gun. I, I've never shot one before. I've never owned one before. This is actually my first time holding one of these things. What do I got? Safety on? No? Did I break it already? Let's see how the trigger pull is on this thing. So. That's just weird to me that. Tush, tush. I'm not sure how you really hold this thing, but I find it like right there. It's comparable to the Crossman trigger. I don't know if I had to pick one. I don't know, I'll make that assessment in the other video once I have more time on both guns. Let's get the scope on it. Let's just make sure the rings are tight on the tube. 
Oh yeah, that's good. As I'm crushing the tube. That's probably not good. Honestly, it probably doesn't really matter. All right, here we go. Is it off? This might be easier. Okay, there we go. Tighten it down just a bit well there. I'm setting my eye relief indoors. Obviously, you know, you can't actually focus on objects so close to you, but I just look at the white wall right behind me and then you can only see crosshairs and just whiteness. So, because it's not actually focusing on anything, it's like, it, it's weird, it's a trick. I don't know. Yeah. Good enough. Can't wait to shoot this thing and see what it can do. It's gonna rain soon, but I'm out here at the range and I have the Daisy 880. Getting ready to shoot this thing for the first time. I've never had or owned one of these guns before. This is gonna be my first time ever firing this gun. And the pellets I have, let me put that down. So I'm gonna test some Crossman Premier hollow points, some Crossman Premier wad cutters, and I only have maybe 30 of these pellets. So this is just for a testing reason. I have some Crossman Premier Destroyers. These are my preferred cheaper like 177 Walmart hunting pellet. They seem to do really well. I have some of these, I don't even know what type they are, but they're Gamo pellets, a, a domed pellet, and they're black. That's all I really know about them. I was given these by a friend. Normally, I would never buy these myself. I was gonna buy some Daisy pellets, but let's face it, why even bother? It looks like it's gonna pour rain any second now. I was gonna put my camera up downrange so you could see some targets, but that might change really quickly depending on this nasty weather behind me and it's getting awful windy too ah i don't know i don't know if this is good testing conditions we'll, we'll try it what, what's the worst that can happen due to the weather that day i didn't get footage of me shooting the rounds but here are the targets that i did shoot so these are the gamma mystery pellets shot at 15 yards with 10 pumps in the gun five rounds on target that was the worst group of the day here was the group of the Crossman Premier wide cutters. And that's a, a decent group. Not the best though. And this was a tie for the best group. These are the Crossman Premier Destroyers. And that's a very nice tight group. Five shots right in there at 15 yards on 10 pumps. And that's very similar. That's almost identical to the Crossman Premier hollow points. And here are the Crossman Premier hollow points at 15 yards, 10 pumps, five rounds. And very, very similar group size to the Crossman uh, Premier Destroyers. I did choose these to go hunting with because I figured you would get a lot more consistency with these. Uh, fewer flyers than you would with the Premier Destroyers. Yeah, it's starting to rain right now. You can really hear it on this tin roof. The one thing that I have found out, which I, I did read about, is unless you cock this, pumping it doesn't do anything. You can pump it all day. Once you do cock it, the first time I pumped this thing up, it didn't seem like I was actually pumping it up either. It seemed like it was just too easy. It doesn't seem like I was actually pumping a gun up. All right, my first shot ever with uh, a Daisy 880. Let's go see. I'm gonna go quickly see. I just went out and concocted like a little rain shelter over my target so I can actually bring them in without them being soaking wet and show you the results. My first shot, obviously, it isn't gonna be dead on target because I haven't sighted in scope. It was about an inch high and five to seven inches to the right, this way, yeah, to the right. Just gonna make a quick adjustment. I feel like I'm yelling because it's raining. At least with it pouring out, no one's gonna be here shooting guns, so I don't need my hearing protection on, which is the real good thing. All right, so I gotta go down. 
I don't know, I just assume it'll be this way. Down a bunch and left a bunch more. So the scope certainly isn't marked clear. I might be doing the exact opposite of what I want it to be doing. Putting a pellet in, make sure you get it going in the correct way. I mean, that's in that's in sideways right there. Now that's going into the BB hole. Now that's in backwards. Now that's on the floor. And now I try with another one. Okay, there we go, good. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna make a prediction right now. I went the wrong way with scope turrets and this won't even hit the paper. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. I went the wrong way with scope turrets and it completely missed the entire target board. I went that way, so I gotta go this way. <laughs> Back in the hot seat. My thoughts on the Daisy 880, awesome. This is excellent value. I love this gun, easy to pump. The scope, awesome scope. Cheap scope, but an awesome scope. That's why I can't see through it, I got the cap on. An awesome scope, focuses, your eye focuses right on it. Accurate gun. It does have this little wonky mechanism where you gotta cock it before you pump it. For safety reasons, I cock it, then I pump it, then I load it. That way, when I'm pumping it, you know, the barrel isn't waving all over the place with the round in the chamber. It's light, it's made out of plastic, it's cheap, it's awesome. Can't say too many good things. Honestly, when I first started out air gunning, if I'd have bought this gun, I probably wouldn't have even made this channel because it would have done the job and I wouldn't have researched any more into air guns. Awesome gun. I tried this job that you